There are signs posted on the outside of Peace Love and Little Donuts here in the Strip District. A contractor hit a water line, which caused a lot of damage both inside and outside of the business. The owner tells me there were people inside when this happened, but he's fortunate no one was hurt. But it's going to take quite some time to get back opened. It's quick video, but shows quite a scene. Is it shocking? The aftermath shows the destruction at Peace Love and Little Donuts in the Strip District. After a contractor working outside hit a 16 inch water main, which shot water into the air. I think somebody tried to keep that flow of water down, and so they took the bucket of the excavator and they pushed it down on the flow of water, which I think turned into the equivalent of putting your thumb on a hose when you're trying to spray your friends. And it aimed the rocks and water up through the glass windows above our transom into my donut shop. Rocks and tens of thousands of gallons of water shot right into the business. It looked like a volcano blew up. Robert Hammett owns Next Door Blue Steel Gallery and watched the entire event unfold. I'd never seen anything like it before. The force of the water was so powerful that chunks of rock were flying this big with velocity. The miracle is nobody was hurt. I mean, I had two employees there and customers present in the store. And if you can imagine rocks coming in at the kind of velocity that would shatter that glass, that glass is a half inch thick. It's ridiculously strong and it blew it out like it was nothing. Rossetti said he's working with his insurance, his landlords and the contractors to get his shop cleaned up and reopened, but it could take months. His plan, a grand reopening at some point, but right now just grateful that no one was hurt. My family and I, um, you know, we, we we follow uh, and we're followers of Christ and, and this is part of life. Life will roll up on you sometimes and give you challenges. In the Strip District, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.